Podcast, weather from where you live. Oh, it's been an unseasonably cold day. Look at these current wind chills. It feels like 16 right now in Frankfurt. It feels like 20 at Monticello. The clouds are pulling away, though, but the thing is, as quickly as we clear out, some of this cloudiness back here will come in later on this evening. And you'll notice the snow showers here in Iowa, parts of Nebraska. This is going to move southeastward and then east southeastward. So as this little disturbance comes through and a secondary cold front comes through tonight, we're looking at some scattered snow showers uh, late, late this evening and into the overnight, but still windy, wind chills, low teens, temperatures in the 20s this evening, and then overnight you see the scattering of some snow showers. Still a lot of wind, and look at the wind chills. It, it'll feel like it's as uh, low as about zero in places come tomorrow morning with 19 for the low temperature. 15 to 21 will do it with minus one to nine above wind chills. Tomorrow is a record cold day. A lot of wind gusts 30 to 40 from the northwest. Some flurries and scattered snow showers in the afternoon and be aware some localized very minor accumulations less than an inch are possible in some places tonight and that could be the case even later on tomorrow but no matter which way you slice it unusually cold for the time of year getting into late March and in fact that high at 26 would be the coldest March 18th on record. The coldest former March 18th be 27 set in 1939, but the latest we've had a high temperature in the 20s was April the 6th of 1982, and the latest we've had a high in the teens, March 24th of 74, and the latest we've had highs in the 30s, April 22nd, 1893. Those records back to 1879. Sunday, a lot of sun, but very low wind chills in the morning. It's going to be a blustery day. Highs in the 30s, 29 to 36 should do it viewing area wide. There are the scattered snow showers overnight. This is around 4 or 5 in the morning. Those pull away, little sun, and then some scattered flurries and snow showers tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Then those dissipate. We start to warm up though next week, and it does look like this warm front will get far enough north to bring some warmth in here Thursday. How about some 60s? But with that, there could be storms right in this pocket here. We'll wait and see. We'll keep an eye on it. But regardless, a brief little spurt of warmer weather with showers and storms. And given the shear, we'll watch for isolated severe weather Thursday. But look at that. 26 Saturday to 52 Tuesday, 66 Thursday, but then 41 Friday. Back to the 40 Saturday, then back to 60, then back to the 40s a week from Monday.